Only weeks ago, Chinese tennis player Peng Shuai accused a former top Communist Party official of sexual assault. Since then, all mentions of her name have disappeared on social media platform Weibo, and her whereabouts are unknown. The Women's Tennis Association has called on China to stop the censoring of Peng's experience. It's honestly, it's shocking, you know, that, that she's missing. I mean, uh, there's not much more to say than, than hope that uh, she'll be found, that, uh, you know, that she's, she's OK. It's not the first time China has faced international attention surrounding forced disappearances. In March 2020, Wuhan doctor Ai Fen shared a photo of a patient report she labelled SARS coronavirus, which circulated to fellow Dr Li Wenliang in the medical community. He went on to raise the global alarm of COVID-19's existence. After Fen criticised Beijing's censorship of the virus in interviews, she vanished, leading her family to believe she was arrested. In late 2018, A-list actress Fan Bingbing from the Iron Man and X-Men film franchises was not seen for months alongside a social media silence. When finally re-emerging online, she apologised to the authorities for tax evasion and praised China's ruling Communist Party for her success as an actress. In 2015, four men working in Hong Kong's Causeway Bay bookstore went missing, a small shop that sold paperbacks that were critical of China's leadership. One of them, Gui Min Hai, was released in 2017, but has since been sentenced to 10 years imprisonment for leaking intelligence overseas. The Chinese Communist Party has taken an increasingly hard line against opposing voices. The human rights group Safeguard Defenders estimate on average at least 20 people a day vanish across China for criticizing the system or its gatekeepers.